Hello my friend, I'm so happy to see you here and uh, today I'm going to show you the latest that we added to uh, Game Guru Max itself and what you can expect uh, soon to see in Game Guru Max. It already have been sent to Lee so if he can approve it and uh, I'm, I'm sure you soon will see it. Uh, well, the first thing you can see here is the caustic, underwater caustic. That has been sent to Lee also, and also when you go underwater, it will have a wave effect on all objects and terrain underwater. It just looks so much better underwater. You can check out another video I made with this, and you can see how it looks. Then we have post-processing, we have deeper feel now. See here, when I turn it on and off. Please notice, uh, uh, these uh, billboard trees, they don't look so good in the distance, so uh, this is what it can help you with uh, hiding all those uh, trees, like so. So it look much nicer in the distance. So that's also blue added, and uh, there is uh, free sliders you can play around with and see if you can get the effect you are looking for. Like so. Then we added uh, snow. Oh, in no, that's in the weather settings. There's a new post-processing weather. Uh, you can use and it has uh, snow dust because uh, it now has so many parameters that uh, you can actually turn the snow into dust if you prefer that. I'm going to show you. This is the default setting for snow. And as, as you can see it really looks great. And it's not just the snow I showed you last time. Li like uh, if you look up here it now will fade away when the when the snowflake gets close to the camera, so you ne never get a popping effect when a snowflake disappear. The same goes is now have a deep buffer to test against. So even if this is a post post processing uh, sh uh, snow or particles or what you would call it, you can see here when I get close to oh do uh, we could just uh, so you can better see I'm just disable this. You can see like if if I stand here, you can't see any small uh, snowflakes uh, behind the the objects. That's because it would now do a deep test, so uh, only in the areas where there's no objects, it will uh, show the snowflakes. So it looks uh, very natural, and just like if it was uh, normal particles. So that is a pretty great thing. Like if you look from down here, oh, just go to the. Doo -doo -doo. Just try to go inside here. You can see you don't see any of them. It also has an option like if you go indoors, you can just disable all the snow when you go indoor. You can try that in a moment. But uh, then we have all these uh, wind speed, how fast the wind is. So you can really make it snow heavily. You can control uh, the wind direction like if we wanted something like this sideways snow and then we could just let it go down a little here so now when we look up here we can see the snowing going in this direction so we can control the wind direction and sure, also the speed is just here to do. So it can really snow. Then uh, I added, uh, just set it to 2, 
so it's more straight down or we can try to make it go straight straight down like so we have something called wind randomness and uh, it's controlling how the different particles is moving on the screen so like if I turn it down you can see it will now go straight down and there's no randomness in the movement and then we can uh, give it more and more randomness like so well perhaps it's easier to see if we oh, oh we can do that in a moment when we make it the dust instead then we have the alpha how uh, bright the snow is to uh, make it well supple or make them really shine so that was also added and you can set the size of the particles like so make them smaller or larger so that works uh, pretty well oh yeah and then the voxel steps this is uh, important because it uh, defines how much GPU it should use when it uh, makes all these uh, snow particles like uh, we can really boost it up and it will uh, use way more power or uh, take down your FPS way more but uh, it can look really good so uh, you can control here how fast it should be we can drop it down 30 and get faster and faster around 20 or lower is fine for most snow so it's uh, way faster but you can also con use this to control the FPS you want want to use for the snow effect so let's try to uh, make it into uh, dust particles instead like if we set the wind speed to just zero for a test make it zero the wind is zero 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 so we have no wind you can see they, they are still moving around the dust that's the randomness the wind randomness and uh, we can just decrease this to see now they are moving really slow and are beginning to look like dust particles and uh, if we set the size lower like so you can see them here it's just dust now and still they're using the you can see when we when, when we disable when indoor it will remove them when you go indoor but you don't want that if you use it as dust so still use the deep buffer so you don't see them when they're small well we should have to have an indoor level it looks way better this dust when uh, you are indoor but uh, it's also work here and sure you can uh, give it some uh, wind direction so I think it should just be a sable moving of the dust perhaps a little down also perhaps up yeah minus one is fine so we now have a dust system instead of snow so uh, this is all the parameters you can control and uh, it just looks fine great 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 sure you can set it to anything you like oh yeah another thing I added is uh, sparkling I'm not sure if we can see that somehow now if we freeze these and no movement I'm not sure if you can see it but they are sparkling what can we do to better show it perhaps Make them larger, a little more alpha. Can you see it? They're sparkling. Give them some more speed. Oh, we can really see it. Well, it nearly looks like uh, a star. 
here we'd like if we make the size smaller less they're just sparkling around it looks pretty great I think and uh, sure you can move add some uh, random movement to them I've wanted them to go this way and this way make it smaller yeah you can control them like this so uh, there are pretty many uh, possibilities with this so uh, I think it's turned out pretty well now they're just coming from this direction. Yeah, so uh, you soon have something to play with, uh, all the new features here. Let's try a deeper field. Perhaps just changes into uh, normal snow. Dips minus seven with some randomness, half a little lower, size to larger. Larger. Yeah, it just looked great. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little uh, uh, showcase of the new features that we sent to Lee and we hope that he will add and uh, just to say that this is only possible because of the supporters that are currently supporting me in my work and that enable me to use some time to add stuff like this so please if you also consider to support my work and would like to see more like this yeah you should really I would really appreciate that you join as a Patreon supporter. Also, if you can't afford it, it will also help if you just join as a free member. Actually, it do help some. Or just uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, well, thanks to all the current supporters. And until next time, have a great day.